What's happening, gang? I hope, I hope that I can consider this a celebratory test drive. And thus far, being that it's only been about 15 minutes, uh, so far so good. And uh, I got a collection of, you know, videos over the like Today is day 16. It was 16 days without my car. And uh, come to find out, I had a failing battery that was pretty much well beyond its expiration date and a alternator that was overworking, well, daily. And uh, so I actually, I ended up replacing both for less money than it actually cost just to buy the alternator in the first place. And I still had the failing battery. It just kept getting weaker and weaker and weaker and the alternator was working harder and harder and it just burned up. That thing was so, so hot. I burned my arm on it. I got a little char mark on my arm, on my wrist, backside of my wrist. Anyway, uh, uh, case in point is I'm going to put together a video for this just to uh, document my experience. Uh, not that it's a life-changing event by any means, but after everything's said and done, um, maybe those the first three that were bad right out of the box was kind of a blessing. Let's open it up and take a, take a take peek. All right, guys, let's review. Uh, this is getting quite pathetic, and here's why. All right, first alternator, you know, uh, 13 years old. You know, you expect things to go out, no problem. You know, worked great for all that time. Original Honda stamp on there, no big deal. First alternator came in. Broken electronics harness, right out of the box. Box damage here, on top, in the corner. This is that box that came in. The corner was crushed in. Where was it? Yeah, bottom corner here, broke in. All right, that's number one. Number two. Now, this was ordered on a Sunday night. Uh, I got it on Wednesday. All right, so. Sunday broke, Sunday night ordered, Wednesday received, Wednesday broke, Wednesday reordered, same part, return slip for this one. Good to go. All right, second one came in. Brand spanking new, damaged box, all ripped up. This whole part was open. All duct tape together with packing tape up the ass. What a mess. All right, open this one up. Didn't even attempt to install it because it's just broke. Scratch marks all over it. Uh, right here, there's some scuff marks. Uh, nasty. This little, uh, this holds a harness that plugs into the alternator. Okay, that's bent in. Oh, once again, the electrical connection crushed in directly. There's a plastic housing that surrounds, this is where the main alternator battery, you know, the battery wire connects. All right, there's a plastic shroud that extends out. So this little rubber boot fits on there for weather reasons. All right, first one and two are intact. You know, the original and the first one. Second one, gone. All the plastic pieces in this bag. Here's some of them in addition to the other 20. Okay, pathetic. And this one took seven extra days to get. This was supposed to be delivered on Friday, which was two days after the first one, Wednesday. So once I didn't get it Wednesday, or I'm sorry, on Friday, or ordered the new one, and 
here this one just came now this is from a third supplier before i even got this one this one said it was delayed this one over here said it was delayed so i was like all right i'm gonna you know nip this in the bud so you're gonna see me open up the brand new one that just came 15 minutes ago different company different uh manufacturer the whole deal and i got a feeling i'm gonna have to print another label oh by the way I guess it doesn't matter. These are the same alternators from the same company. Either slip would work fine. All right, here's the third one. Third new one, by the way. So now I have I have one, two, three, four, counting the original. And still, paying for all three of these is less money than it would have been and this plastic connector is shattered once again just caved right in look at that look you can wiggle it it's just shattered in broke broken right out of the box there's that plastic housing this is bullshit this is disgusting uh once again, more box damage. You know, what is it? It weighs 20 pounds. You know, why do you just wrap it in foil and send it out? You know, get a box that fits. Put some foam in there. un believable I, I, I actually can't believe this. This harness, I, I couldn't even attempt to put it on. All right. Okay. Well, there we go. That's how that's going to work. The quality of customer service in our country is absolutely gone. I am going to print a slip for the third one, bring all three of them to UPS, shove it up their ass. Well, it's not their fault. It's not even the, the, the manufacturer's part, you know, problem. It's the people who handle the merchandise one slip two slip hey let's go print that third one so i can save 375 dollars in parts when it costs the same to buy one right down the street at autozone you know man when you don't have your vehicle you feel naked at least i do you know you feel like oh my god i can't i can't do anything i'm trapped and that's how it's been. And my mom feels the same way. And this is in the back of her car. So with that being said, it's uh, it just doesn't get any more pathetic than this. What's happening guys? All right, while we're at the UPS store, here's all three brand new alternators, which are brand newly broken. Day three, day 11, day 13, or no, day three, eight, and 10. Anyways, that's the point. But here we're gonna rock out at the UPS store right in town. Let me get this returned and uh, buy something that I can actually use. Sounds like a plan to me. I've had pretty good luck with these people before. I gotta go the other way. Let's see what we can find out. All right, here's the deal. We're uh, we're at the uh, this is the pick apart junkyard. And if you're not familiar with the pick apart, that means you go find it yourself, bring your own tools, take off the part you need. But it's it's at a massive, massive discount. Basically, what they're doing is they inventory the cars put them somewhere say hey you need this motor transmission door panel door fender whatever uh you're on your own but uh got my tools ready to roll so after multiple days of trying to find my uh alternator just wasn't happening well no I found it <laughs> it got shipped 
it got shipped too many times and uh, broken every time. Man, they got a thousand cars here. I got a wagon full of stuff. Everything I need to get my part. I was here yesterday. I investigated the situation and all is well. I'm gonna put up a dirty old ass alternator. But in all honesty, it is one year newer with 80,000 less miles, plus it's an original Honda product, and it's been here as of today, nine days. So, and they they gave me a listing of, there would be five, five cars to check from, and this is the only one. It's pretty dirty though, a lot of oil on it. You'll see. All right, we're gonna sign off. I'll show you here in a, in a minute. Well, here we are, guys. Here's my baby. This is what I need. It looks, uh, you know, pretty dirty on, underneath, but that's oil and whatnot. But, uh, uh, 2011, which I found out is actually... Uh, one year newer or uh, it's the same as mine so um, nonetheless 80,000 miles less 30 bucks I'm on this like a bad rash All right, I'm gonna turn this off so I can get to work this should take uh, I don't know 30 minutes or so no big deal all right see ya all right guys here's the deal I'm pretty happy thus far. This is the old alternator. Uh, it burned up. No output whatsoever. I just took this one off at a scrapyard. Identical uh, part numbers. Original Honda equipment. The three previous alternators as you just witnessed are no longer to be ever talked about without penalty of uh, certain death. But check this out this is the uh, I made a cleaning solution look at all the oil in there this other one here this brand new one well I should say brand new used was pretty gunked up and this is a I had it soaked for a little bit I watched some videos on some degreasers and you know you use a paintbrush and a little you know kind of a not a necessarily a wire brush but a kind of like rough fabric you know a bristle type thing anyway we're all cleaned up and we're gonna we're gonna get this bad boy installed got a big day tomorrow you'll see and today's friday uh tomorrow obviously saturday oh big plans and uh you'll see you'll see all right i'm gonna keep you posted here we're gonna get this uh installed and give it the test no guarantees all right see ya all right, guys. Here's the story. All right. Make sure we got a good view of this. Old battery, new battery. Let's put them both in the same direction. Now, um, I went the El Cheapo route, and this battery was only $75 out the door but uh, I guess I won't need to take that part off but I got mr. handy dandy voltmeter and I'm gonna show you a difference here let me put my glasses on all right here's the deal voltmeter in hand well let's go to this one eight and a half volts original this battery that I've had now if you notice there's a little sticker on the side it's upside down uh, November of 2019 crusty but a good battery a Duralast gold now new cheapy battery just to get me by because uh, I spent my millions so uh, here we go let's see what we got right out of the box I haven't been too fond lately of the uh, 
of the customer service quality of new items. So I'm double checking before I even leave the building. 12.6, 65 to be exact. Okay, fantastic. The new alternator, I should say new used, is in place. Woo. And uh, we are good to go. What are you doing, buddy? You wanna go pee pee? Are you whimpering? All right, I'll take you back here. But uh, that's the deal. I'm gonna recycle this battery over at the uh, exchange place because it just won't charge, it charge all night. It's plumping out the sides and it's five years old and the life expectancy is three to five years to begin with. So I got my money's worth. Came in the car when I bought it. I bought it. Well, about two and a half years now. All right, we're gonna sign off. I'm gonna get this installed, man. I feel like a, a fish out of water, you know, without my own wheels. I'm, whoa, I just drove over a curb. That's cool. Um, wow, how do they change this whole operation? Uh, anyways, I'll be back, man. I got some good stuff coming. I was able to only get out a few times here and there due to uh, vehicular restraint. But uh, we're going to make it happen. So Don't sweat it. Just a setback. We all get those. Come on, buddy. I'm going to sign off. Thanks, guys. Um, I guess what happened is is that the battery was failing because it was already pretty old. Here's the battery tray. I'm going to have to break out the vacuum and clean that out. Got a bunch of leaves and debris. No big deal. Uh, anyway, the battery was failing, so put the alternator in the overdrive. And uh, after three alternators that came in right out of the box, just totally broken, unusable, I uh, decided to get a used one, which is an original Honda part which is fantastic. I'm totally happy about that. Anyway, uh, I already measured the voltage here a minute ago at Walmart when I picked it up just to make sure. And uh, I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna get this installed. Nobody wants, you know, wants to watch a video of uh, putting in the battery. It's not, a, uh, it's not a rocket science, but sometimes you just, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And, uh, Oh man, and then we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna start it up Providing it starts never know and the first thing I'm gonna look for is whether the battery light comes on in my dash and uh, it's It's unmistakable. It's the Well picture of a battery as you can see here on this little yellow sticker August of 24 the other one said 11 of 19 so that was five years old probably past its expiration to begin with so let's get to work cross your fingers man i'm on this oh i can't wait because uh i gotta i gotta go to work man this is crazy double check voltage we got 1258 they say you want 12.4 now the question really remains is when I start it, is the new used alternator gonna work? And uh, of course I'm relying on the fact that it will start. I'm gonna disconnect the camera from my chest. There we go. All right. Let's just see what happens. Turn the key on. Cranked out fully. I have fuel light on, but that's normal. <laughs> Just saying, that's the deal. Uh, all right, let's check the mileage on this bad boy. 185,065. Not too shabby. All right, of course my clock's gonna be flashing and I gotta, I gotta enter a code for my radio and all this other stuff. Yeah.
matter of fact, this is a of mass. This is of mass of importance. What I need to see is 14.4 to 14.7 the volts as output from the alternator. I can live with that. No smells, no no uh, burning marks. Temperature is very cool. Now we'll measure the voltage. I'm uh, I'm happy either way because I will no longer have to be resourceful upon a borrowed vehicle. Uh, we're gonna sign out, man. Project solved. Hopefully, more to come. Let's go, Honda. So I don't want to stray too far from home until I'm super confident. But I will say this, it is driving better, it accelerates better. Maybe it's just me, but it feels different. And so far, so good. No lights on the dash. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. That's the, that's the story and I'm sticking to it. But uh, hey man, I hope you guys like the Charlie videos and do me a favor, man. This would this is cool. This will help me out. In the description, I've got a there's an Amazon link. And if you shop at Amazon like 58% of the rest of the world, um just by clicking my link and you know, you log in from there, whether you have Prime or just a regular shopper without Prime, um the prices don't change for you. And, you know, they're going to get shipped to you just like normal. And uh, it'll help me out. I get a couple, two, three percent of different items. Some items more than others. No big deal. But if you're going to spend money on Amazon, I would really hope that you would consider using my link. And, uh, you know, that'd be great. I'm going to mention this in every video for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get this video together, and uh, I'm still in test mode, so we're going to, we're on the exploratory uh, plan here, so we're going to see what happens.